Hey yo, what's cracking two shows you guys? I'm back for another video. So look what we got today. I haven't had Wingstop in such a freaking long time, you guys. Coldest water. Y'all know what's good with coldest water. Today's shout out's going to this person right here. Thank you so much for showing love. I want to shout out, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, comment down in the description. Comment down in the comment section, not the description. Y'all look at this. Parmesan garlic. I haven't had wings up in a long time and lemon pepper. What the heck? Got some fries with only seasoned only with Cajun because y'all you know I don't like sweet with my food, so I just got the regular Cajun, no fry seasoning, which is like sweet. Let's get, like let's take a cold sip first. Mmm. Guys, coldest water, keep your drinks cold up to 38, to me it's like 48 to 72 hours. If you guys, you guys, if you guys use the code SUSHI in the, if you guys use the link down in the description and use code SUSHI, you guys get free shipping, so. Let's try these fries out. Mmm. No way in hell. No way in hell that that's real. <sighs> oh my god. Y'all see that steam? Y'all wanna... Y'all wanna know how to clean off a wing? That's how you do it right there. That's... Is that a bone? This is how we do... Oh, the cheese. Y'all see the cheese there? Mm. Oh my god. Nacho cheese? What the hell? Let me tell you where I've been. Oh! Oh my god, hot! Wingstop. I'm sorry I went so long without you. I went so long without you. Y'all basically gotta dip the whole wing in there to get the whole um The other branch. Y'all don't like burping, smacking, or moaning. Y'all's got to go. It with you. Bomb. Mm -hmm. Having that potato fry, fry flavor with the ranch and with the cheese already, and like you're getting into the chicken. Like, it's just flavorful. Extremely. Exquisite. This is absolutely extraordinary. 
Mm. 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 Wingstop tweeted me. I love you, Wingstop. Mm. So, where I've been, I'll tell y'all, I drove cross country twice already in less than six months. Can you believe that? You only live once. You only live once. Life's so short. Like, my grandma's sister recently just passed away. People are passing away. People are ending their lives, their own lives. And it's like, life is so short and people take life for granted. And my whole life, I've been taught to life I've been taught to get a job working a nine-to-five and um, just work work to live and it's like I feel like my life is worth so much more than that I'm not saying that that's wrong because everybody what you're doing it's that's that's great like it's great you know I'm not I'm just saying it in, in, in an inspiring way for anybody who has who, who feels the same way that I felt the world is so big. For God made this huge world for us. I forgot where I heard a quote. Did I hear a quote? Or was it a podcast? I was listening to a lot of podcasts on um, on the way, like driving cross country. A lot of podcasts, podcasts, and I just like reflected on on my life and stuff. Mmm. Mm. Bomb, yeah. That the world is so big for God to just have us in one place. No one in my life, I mean, no one that I've ever known is driving, driving cross country twice. I'm not saying that that's all that, you know. But just don't be afraid, you know? Just to go out and do something. I've, I've never been afraid of that. Of anything, honestly. Except for heights. I hate heights. I'm almost 30 years old. Well, I'm 26 years old and... You will not get me a 6 foot 3, 260 pound guy to get on a freaking roller coaster. Heck no. That's not for me. <laughs> what? Like I was saying, life's just too, too short. To be just like, you know, you only get one life. You literally, you, YOLO, you only live once. Very true. Because God forbid, I'm on my deathbed. And I think about all the things that I wish I would have done. All the things I wish I, like opportunities that I've had that I never took advantage of just because I was scared. You know? So this trip has taught me a lot. Just driving, thinking about life. So, let me tell you where, where I went. From Cali, you know, from, from, I'm from LA. Cali. To Arizona. To New Mexico. 
to Texas, to Memphis, to Yo, Tennessee, to down to Atlanta. Welcome to Atlanta. Um, went to New Orleans. Went to Miami. You know, I went to Albuquerque. Went to San Antonio, Houston, Amarillo, and El Paso. Didn't go to Dallas. I thought I was, but I didn't. Um, and yeah. Next trip, I want to travel East Coast. Well, all my East Coasters, where you at? Hashtag East Coast right now. Hashtag East Coast Sushi Gang. No, that sounds like a legit gang. I don't know. <laughs> Bust that open in the islands of Waikiki. Come on. Fill in the blank. Bust that blank open in the islands of Waikiki. <laughs> I'm so tired, y'all. So, last night, we were in El Paso, okay? And my friend was like, she was like oblivious. She did not know where the hell we were at. We got off the car, we stopped at Corner Bakery in El Paso, and She's like, where the hell are we at? I was like, oh, we're still in Houston. We still have to drive all the way to Phoenix. And Phoenix is really, really far from Houston. She's like, we were just in freaking Houston. How do you say that? I was like, oh, no, I'm sorry. We're in San Antonio now. And San Antonio is like the next town over. So we're barely there. Because she had to take a flight. She had to be back in LA. She had to be back in LAX because she had to take a flight to go on for work or whatever. She's going to New York. And she had to be back. By Thursday night, and today's Thursday morning. Today's Thursday, so she's probably on her. Yeah, she's on her flight now. Um, but yeah. Oh, what the hell? It's my my watch says nine thirteen. But my phone says seven thirteen. Whoa, this is. I was on the wrong time zone the whole time. I was still stuck in Texas time zone. What the heck? My mind is so, I gotta, I feel like I'm so lethargic, like I'm like, not jet lag, but I'm car lagged, just because jet lag, you have to be on an airplane, but I'm like, just going through all these time zones, like my, my, everything is just screwed up. And we literally drove past in time. So, when you're driving through from Texas to Arizona, no, from Texas to Texas, the the time zone, like right when you pass a certain border, the clocks go back in time. The clocks switch. So I was staring right at my phone, and it freaking, the time went back an hour. I was like, I just went back in time. Like, I just went freaking back in time. It was dope. It was dope. But she just my friend, though, y'all. Everyone keep asking. I still got to find that special someone to do these trips with, you know? Yeah. Not having any luck with any of my subscribers. I had luck with two of them, but one, she doesn't like me. She doesn't talk to me anymore. I don't know why, but and the other one was a broken up ex. Um, I'm going to eat everything. Y'all... No, I leave so much food behind, but today, I'm going down, because you ain't around. Oh, I got two tickets on the way there. 
So, oh, if you don't know, guys, I'm 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 back home now. Um, I think you heard me say it on on the video. The first one was for window tint. First one was for for window tint. Front windshield is tinted illegal. Sides are tinted illegal. I think that this cop was just being, you know, cops, some, some of them, they do stuff just to do it. And this one was one, one of them. He's like, oh, your, your truck's too high. He's like, where'd you get your lift at? Like, he was like, just asking a whole bunch of questions that weren't even relevant to the tint of the windows. He's like, oh, you're going too, too fast. Your tires are too big. You need to get them recalibrated. I'm like, they're already calibrated to the, to the speed. Like, this is all, you know? But I wasn't going to argue because I know I just stay quiet, cooperate with the law enforcement. I have friends that are in law enforcement. My ex was in law, my ex is in law enforcement. So I, I know how to handle that. Ticket already. I know what to do, you know? But that was the first ticket. Second ticket was this other cop. I was in Oklahoma. $250 ticket. And ticket for speeding, which I was not speeding because I was filming. When I got pulled over, my camera was set on the little tripod thing. Hands were, both hands on the wheel. Set at cruise control. Speed limit. Two, two under the speed limit. And he pulled me over. He said, oh, you're speeding. I was, I'm sorry, officer, but I was set on cruise control and, and I wasn't speeding. I was like, I have a video recording of me, both hands on the wheel, set at cruise control, because I was filming, you know? He's like, oh, well, here in Oklahoma, you can't be filming, or something. He said something like that. He's like, oh, here in Oklahoma, you, you can't be filming while you're driving, or something. He, he said something. He's also, either I can, I can give you a, a ticket for that, which is you have to go to court out here, or something like that, or he's like, oh, I can just give you a, a fine, and I'll put it over that you're going 10 miles over the speed limit. I was like, but I wasn't going to my over the speed limit. He's like, e either one. He was just being like cr crazy. I was like, officer, do what you have to do. How much is the ticket? He's like, it's two fifty. Pay it on this website right here. And that ruined my the, like the rest of my drive. So far, two tickets. Not 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 too not too bad, right? There we go. Sodium overload. You can barely see my face. I'm like. All right, guys. If you leave a thumbs up, you guys. Um, I am so excited to be doing wing stop again. I haven't done wing stop in a long freaking time. I'm super excited, you guys. Also, please give the video a thumbs up if you guys love me. If you don't, bye. <laughs> Alright, guys. I love you guys, and I will see y'all in the next video. Alright? Peace.